Gardnerella vaginalis. It's a pleomorphic gram variable rod. That is, it can exist as both gram positive and gram negative. Now, it has presence of clue cells, that is, epithelial cells with adherent bacteria on light microscopy. Alterations in the natural vaginal flora may lead to the proliferation and overgrowth of Gardnerella vaginalis. It causes a disease that is called as bacterial vaginosis. This usually presents with thin grayish vaginal discharge and that is kind of watery in nature and it has a presence of fishy odor which becomes specially repungent after the additions of potassium hydroxide and this addition of potassium hydroxide is called as WIF test. No vaginal or cervical tenderness would be seen in this. In contrast with the bacterial cervicitis that is with chlamydia or gonorrhea which causes cervical tenderness. Treatment of bacterial vaginosis is metronidazole. Bacterial vaginosis is typically associated with alterations in the natural vaginal flora and is therefore is not strictly considered a STD. However, its incidence is positively correlated with the number of sexual partners and new sexual partners.